I think a lot of people have stereotypes against quarterbacks and uh, they think maybe they're a cocky person or they, they're like, they think they're above everyone else, but I'm just a real laid back guy, down to earth, and I'm, I'm pretty quiet. So. My name is Taylor Laird. I am a freshman and I'm going to be majoring in kinesiology. I decided to become a quarterback my freshman year. I was basically too slow to play receiver or running back. I was too weak to play line or any anything on defense, so I just thought I'd try out for quarterback because I could always throw the ball real well. And all the local JCs wanted me, so I, I toured all the JCs, all the campuses and stuff, and this is by far the nicest campus, and the coaches here were, were my favorite out of the three schools. I feel that this team is actually pretty close together. We, we created a brotherhood, and I think this team has something special. It's real good working with Coach Walker. He's a He's one of my favorite coaches I've had so far. He's he's like younger, so he understands all the kids. He understands like what, what's going through our heads and stuff. So he's real cool about it. Taylor, you know, he's a he's a great young man. You know, first and foremost, his, his character is, is, is outstanding. He, he accepts um, you know what's given to him. He accepts challenges. He he overcomes things. Um, that game and a half that he was playing, he was playing at a level that we haven't seen here since 2009. You know, he was on pace to do some, some amazing things here from a leadership standpoint and from an athletic standpoint. The biggest thing that intrigued me about Taylor is his, his willing and openness to, to continue to learn whether he thinks he knows something. He's always going to take something from what is being taught to him, and that is, in essence, what's going to get him to the next level. Uh, academically, he's good. Uh, athletically, he's good. And then mentally, you add that component, too, and, you know, the kid's, you know, outstanding. Basically, I got tackled wrong. I dropped back to pass and I, I didn't see anything, so I was just going to lay down and take a sack, but they took my legs out and it, it was all bad from there. I was trying to tell myself it was something minor, but when it happened and I heard the pop, I knew it wasn't good. At first I was doing okay because I didn't think it'd be too uh, detrimental to my season, but it turns out it was a fracture. It actually cracked all the way through my fibula, so I'm, I'm going to be out for about six to eight weeks, so it's pretty hard and when I found out that it was hard it was emotional uh, the team took it hard it took the injury you know tough you know especially on the offensive side just from the leadership role that he brought to the team you know after the fall camp and coming into uh, the, the season opener they really missed his leadership uh, Justin Moore he's a freshman as well me and him were competing for the starting job prior to the season and it was a great competition um, we were neck and neck battling so I'm, I'm very comfortable in him. I have faith in him, and I think he's going to do a good job leading this team this year. So I'm planning on coming back, uh, playing for Sac City again, and whether he's here or not, there's still going to be competition, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm going to do everything I can to win the job again. I'm just looking forward to getting better, coming back, and getting stronger.